Hi, right, I'm going to talk a little bit about the idle circuit on a Rochester 2 jet carburetor, 2 barrel. And uh, first of all, the uh, idle mixture screw, there's two of them on this one. It goes right here. You took one of them out. Inspect the tip and make sure there's no grooves in it. As long as there's no grooves, just uh, hit it with a wire brush to clean it up. You'll be just fine. You want to be sure you can see through the hole so that it goes all the way through. There's a small hole right there at the bottom. You can see it. Okay. Now that's where the uh, air fuel mixture uh, comes from and or comes out of, I should say, into the bore. Now a as you increase speed, you leave, need a little more idle mixture. So you see that little slot there? That's where that comes in play right there. So the more you open it, the more fuel you'll get. Otherwise it'll uh, won't have enough title. Okay, so up here in your Venturi, which I've removed here, are uh, your idle vents, one on each side, and they feed down through this, these holes here, uh, down into where the idle mixture screw is, and that's where the air is sucked down to mix with the fuel from the main bowl and uh, out your idle mixture. So. If you're having trouble to idle, idle rough or anything, make sure these are nice and clean and clear. They're small holes. And let's see what else. So at idle, you see these are these will be closed, and uh, that's that's pretty much it for the idle circuit on this one. I just mostly want to point out the uh, small holes so that you got to make sure they're clean because they often get plugged up and they give you a rough idle. Thank you for watching.